All right, 1600 horsepower road switch, six wheel, three motor truck. Description of the truck is a rigid bolster swivel type that fully equalized in addition with the conventional swivel bearing about which the truck swings and which bears the proportion of the cab load. There are the two pads on each of them carrying the balance of the cab load with the trucks are positioned under the locomotive. The pads are located with the towards the center of the locomotive swinging barrier on pads of the three point with the support with the carry of the load of each of the truck. The lateral spacing of the pads is stability and against tipping of the force of the locomotive on the curve of the friction resistant of the pads with prevents the nose of the nosing at a high speed. The truck spring, um, spring system consists of four groups that two outer and two inner helical coils as all four groups the inner coil with the set nearest to the center wheel working in conjunction with the friction snobber. Axle joiner boxes are mounted with the potato so cast with the integral with the front truck frame with the boxes may be plain or the rolling bearing type of the when the bearing um, plain bearings where there um, is one quarter inch total lateral movement of each of the axle within the box in addition one sixteenth of inch total um, movement of the box and fed frame, frame pedestal with the roller bearings type of an S cam KF the total lateral per axle is one quarter of an inch obtained with the movement of the boxes in the pedestal. The lateral thrust of the plain bearing boxes is just, taken directly through, through an axle to stop in each of the journal box with the time can SKF with equipment. The thrust is taken directly by the bearings and no end of the thrust being is required. Um, the um, the brakes are single, are single shoe type that are powered by the two cylinder per truck. Um, cylinder per, um, brackets are cast and integral with the frame minimum annually um, operated slack adjuster provided with the in order to compensate with the brake shoe and wear when wheel wear. Provisions are made with the application handbrake chain. Removal of the axle wear and boxel assembly with the motors. Remove the axle wheel boxel assembly of the truck with the under locomotive at the drop of the table. It's necessary to assume that the equipment is a single type table type large enough to handle um, a complete truck. Then use the such of the table will require the locomotive to be supported. The jacking pads, you know, like using this equipment when the table is lowered to remove the single axle wheel in the box of the assembly of the truck remains suspended with the safety hooks, and the procedure will be also as follows. Locate the body supported with the locomotive jacking pads. Chain the equalizer truck frame of the block with beneath. Remove the pedestal caps and tie bars. Unbolt the air duct of the flange. At the top of the motor, disconnect the motor leads. Disconnect the air, any of the journal box attachments, such as the speed recorders, or speedometers, etc. Remove the sandpaper and assembly of each of the truck. Disconnect the bottom slack adjuster. Retract all the other pr provided clearances between the wheels and brake shoes. Rack the motor nose and remove the suspension assembly. See item 4 for the disassembly of the truck. Um, loader the motor nose until the motor safely on the legs. The rest of the truck frame suspension brackets 11. Allow the drop table to settle slowly, keeping the motor nose in Jackson so that the motor safety lugs will be passed on the truck frame legs. Caution. Extra care, exercise care with the motor air duct and boot assembly during the uh, above the operation. Remove it as soon as, during, uh, as the clearance permits. Continue to lower the assembly until the free of the truck. Um, Reinstallation of the axle and wheel and box assembly. The operation should be performed practically with the reverse sequence with the removal of the air duct boot on the top of the motor but not bolted into it. See the caution of the note. When the axle is assembled, the progression with the drop of the tape of the motor correctly positioned with the tilt of the nose end of the safety lugs will pass. The frame lugs raise the assembly with the safety lugs can ra again raise rest on the top of the frame lugs. Caution any exercise care with the motor air duct to prevent damaging it. If the facility installation compressed with the retaining by the wire with the loops on the top of the bottom plates, connect the raised assembly in normal position of normal position and pedestal apply the caps remotor the no suspension spring assembly see item the eight reassembly of the truck and four reconnect the bottom of the slack adjuster five reconnect the motor lead six reconnect the journal box attachments for the speed recorders etc seven remove any of the sander pipes eight remove the equalizer retainer a nine bolt the air duct to the motor eleven or sorry ten adjust the brakes eleven check bo um, the box into the stopping the face of the wearer's assembly for the plain bare boxing check the bolt lubrication packaging and if assembly plain, plain bare wa um boxing bearing box all right, moving the equalizer spring through the truck under the locomotive. By lifting the rig or overhead of the crane, move the opposite pedal for the tie bar from the truck of the frame under the end of the box near the spring by the being removed and also the opposite center of the center of the pedestal of the same truck. Release all the elbert, all the brakes like adjuster of the complete free, free the brakes. But when the sling of the crane attached with the locomotive lifting the lugs, raise the ca cab until the safety hooks between when the cab and the trucks are engaged. Um, continue the lifting until the weight is removed from the springs. They were uh, or are free of the frame of the cup from pockets of the coil group nearest the center of the wheel, each of the uh, truck with a group of the grouping, including the snobber, may be then lifted clear of the equalizing um, spring seat, the drop down with the meeting between the equalizer and remove the coil group at the nearest end of the wheels may be then removed. The jacking, remove the pedestal cap that is in, is in item 1A above the release of the blank brake slack adjuster, place the jack under the jacking peg on each of the locomotive near the truck with the, from which the spring of the spring or spring of the springs are to be removed, the raise until the frame is um, clear of the springs, remove the springs are previously just, um, described in item 1, drop the table of the stationary body supports 
may be using the following procedure similar to above. Reinstall the equalizer springs reverse re reverse removal procedure. Note, of, uh, note when reinstalling the group of the stopper it is always just toward the center wheel right or left of each truck. The repl um, replace the correct check thickness liner until under the, each of the spring group. All right, removal of the truck. Before the completing of the truck can be removed from the beneath of the locomotive, the intention to relieve the truck of the truck system on the cab weight that requires either the crane or the hoist and the jack lift the locomotive out of the stationary body that we use in connection with the drop table installation. The jacking and lifting diagram 50, figure 44 shows the location of which of the units should be lifted and the support of the approximate loads involved. The following precautions should be observed. The wood blocking should be used um, between chassis supports, between jacking pad and lifting device. The lifting should be uniform with the bowl size of the cab to prevent an unnecessary strain of the cab structure. The cab should not not be lifted except for more to one end than other and over the other until the body of the swivel bin um, have been disengaged from the truck swivel bowl. By removing the truck, disconnect the safety hooks on one each of the truck of the swivel bowl bolster and on the inboard transom the air brake, the pipe hose, the handbrake, change the sand of the traction motor, leave the truck box attachments. If the truck is not a system handled the lift lift the um lift the lift can required be um the blocking provided with between the bottom of the journal boxes and pedestal tie bars for the equalizing springs cannot raise the truck and the truck may then be removed by any one of the three different procedures. All right, by a drop table to require the use of the stationary body support for lifting rigging overhead of the crane by lifting the cab um, sufficient amount with the disengage the swivel casting and locking loading pads to provide clearance above of the truck so that they may be moved laterally beneath the locomotive and using a turntable to transfer table to by lifting by jacking or lifting is in a two above the significant amount of the room of the trucks and longitudinally along the truck or after raising the cab significantly to allow the track to pass under the draft gear the pilot steps uncoupling support brackets and must have been first been removed. A reference should be made with the jacking and lifting diagram figure 44 details lifting and loading involved. Dissing assembly of the truck. Remove all the pedestal tie bars. Remove all the brake bottom. Remove the brake bottom slack adjuster. Retract all of the um, so that the brake shoes are clear of the wheel. Remove the motor air duct for the connecting the booth. Remove the motor's nose suspension spring. Meet nest as follows in figure 12. Jack lift motor nose sufficiently to the compressed nut, um, nest approximately one half inch. Remove the cotter pin. Tighten nuts under on the spring holder bolts. Use the split washer to take the um, up space between the nuts and the spring holders. Low um, lower the bolt motor so that the nose lugs are free of the spring nest. Um, D, the pr remove the pin, keep the drop vertical pins. The E, slide the spring nest out sideways. Again, raise the nose. Uh, five, again, raise the nose nose to provide the clearance preparatory to removing the truck frame. Raise the nose sufficient amount to so that the frame lugs will clear the motor safety lugs when the frame of the lifting upward with the axle wheel and the box assembly. All right. Um, with the motor near, near nose, nose clear of the raised frame of the off the axle wheel box assembly until the weight is removed from the um, spring, then lift the spring of the assembly with the so seat with the equalizer to remove the drop down with the down from the equalizer. The spring may be remain on the seat but between the equalizer be removed at the time of the equalizer disassembled and removed. All right. Um, remove the truck pedestal liner bolt to the top of the location as marked in um, C figure 13 passed in the 7 eighths of an inch and the bars um, 15 inch 15 inch long with the two holes from the bolt bolts were removed the bars which engage lifting equalizer along with the truck frame when it being removed from the axle assembly. Hey, lift the frame equalizer assembly off the axle assembly and before the frame pedestals are entirely clear off the box block the block later so that they will not rotate on the axle's lower frame a equalizer assembly unsuitable block placed under the equalizer until the equalizer are free of the restraint bars move the bars and lifting frame for the equalizer assemblies if, um, if equalizer spring seats many of them be they may be disassembled if the truck is being dismembered over a pit, it is possible to remove the motor without disturbing the rest of the truck as follows. Remove the suspension spring of the nest as the item four is proceeding. Remove the gear in the case and the dust guard. Lift the motor nose on using lift lugs until the cap of the suspension bearing is at one at the bottom. Unbolt and cap and then remove. Um, caution. Exercise great care in handling the suspension bearing. Bearings are in two halves. One half may be removed with the, um, remove the cap. The other half may be removed after the cap is dropped. The if not, remove the restraint inner half of the lifting motor off the axle so that it will not drop and injure personal lift the motor clear of the axle. All right, here is figure 12, the traction motor, no support, spring holding bolt, and spring holder, vertical pins, and pin keeper. Figure 13 shows the disassembly of the three-motor truck. Um... Move the 7 8 inch bolt at the top of the pedestal liners in and insert a 7 8 diameter bar approximately 14 inches long to retain equalizer when lifting the frame from the truck. 
Inspection maintenance. The following items should be um, inspected to compare with figure 14 for clearance and wear limits. Um, vertical horizontal steel liners on both the body and tr truck swivel casting wear placed on the loading pads of both and truck pan on the cab but it's still wearing faces on the corresponding of the face of the general housing the applying of the new liners. Be sure that all the edges of the round were then contact with other surface of plane journal bearing wedge wear limits follow the AAR standard practices in the interstate commerce commission and regulation for the rolling bearings. Refer to the manufacturer instruction. Check the lubrication swivel bearing loading pad check the lubrication axle bearing if plane and bearings checking packing T tighten all the pipe connection check piping inspection the motor nose but spring holders for the wear and if necessary replace the wear plates when the trucks are dismantled the springs remove the check liners and spring pockets if the badly worn and replace um this shows your truck your truck so um your truck safety hook uh truck um bed um box and plan the truck pedestal block plan this um truck center plate Truck loading plan, um, truck pedestal block plan, um, figure 14. All right, 10. Check out the wear of the foundation brake equipment. If the parts show the excessive wear, they should be replaced. See foundation brakes. For traction motor maintenance, refer to the maintenance instruction booklet, MI 2001, traction motor maintenance. All right, wheels. Um, when turning and replacing wheels, the Interstate Commerce Commission requires that the diameter of the wheel of the same axle should not vary with the 332s an inch equivalent approximately two and one half of the tent tape. The further recommendation of the wheels should not continue in service if the diameter is the same of the truck vary with more than one half inch of the 12 and one half of the tapes under the same locomotive until they are more than one inch of the 25 tapes. When turning and replacing the new wheels, there's other recommendation that the wheels should not vary more than two and one half the, um, one half the tape on the same exact axle and two tapes on the same truck of the 14 tapes apes on the same locomotive. Wheels should be cleared periodically for the wheels um, wear accordance with the Interstate Commerce Commission regulation. If if excessive wear is found, check the determine. If the brake shoes are free and are not binding on the flange of the wheel, the tread, the wing, brake hanger, the levers are hanging on the shoe and not causing the misalignment of the shoe. Um, shoe the wear and the plates of the hanger leave levers and also brackets have power. Proper clearance. See the foundation brake inspection of the maintenance. If the sanding pipe with other parts of the free, not following the brake rigging, thus preventing the normal operation. If the axle lateral is provided normal, not excessive by the reason the war, um, worn pedestal liners end of the stop. Except variation in the wheel diameters, um, see item one above. All right, this is filled with the pocket waste is saturated with the oil. This is your um, axle um, end stop retainer, um, your equalizer adapter wedge bearing, um, wedge bearing um, axle gear between the tire journals, between the tubs, um, wheel axle box assembly with friction bearings. Your over the pedestal lug liners, journal cat centers between the liners, uh, equalizer adapter, traction gear, um, traction motor. All right, when applying the new brake shoes, they must be hang, hang true in the head, not on the brake at the end of the pin. With the energy adjust, the vibrational shock will not cause a shoe to drag on the wheel, but still in the permanent on the face that conform to the wheel as in the weak, weak wear progress. See also foundation of the brakes. Um, for wheels mounting, refer to figure 15 and 16. Um, Axle gear mounting on the axle gear is based on the inner interference with the fake regular list for the tonnage pressure. The recommended interference fits as before to the 9.991 thousandths plus one or minus thousandths. Diameter of the axle gear fit 10, 000, 10 inches or plus or minus one thousand of an inch. For complete axle gear, see the maintenance instruction booklet and booklet MI1 2000 traction motor maintenance. All right, your motor suspension bearings, diameter axle suspension bearings, they with new new thousand um, nine nine inches or plus or minus ten to two thousand of an inch axle wear. It must be turned into the following three successful diameter diameters. Um, Undersized replacement bearing obtained with 8.938 8 of an inch, um, 8.875 3 eighths of an inch, 8.813 thousand inch, plus or minus 2 thousand of an inch for all those. For complete axle bearing instruction maintenance, instruction booklet MI 2001 traction motor maintenance, see the parts bullets in the DRP 1317 for undersized bearings. All right. Um, your slack adjuster initially set with the right with three eighths of an inch shoe. Um, shoe relief with the new wheel of the brake shoe with a setting with approximately three and three quarter of an inch piston travel to brake per application. Note, notice brake um, brake head pins should be adjusted so that the vibrational shock will not cause the shoe to drag wear, but, but still permit the face of the shoe to conform with the wheel as wear wear progresses. The re um, replace the form of filing brake parts when specified with the maximum wear is obtained. 
Where plates on the hangers and hanger levers or truck frame pads are within the clearance between the two become three sixteenths of an inch pin bushings, which were worn three sixty fourth of radio clearance and nominal clearance with the new pins of the bushings are one sixty fourth of an inch radio clearance. Um, hanger levers and equalizers when thickness is worn one eighth eighth of an inch hangers and friction arms the when thickness is worn one eighth one sixteenth of an inch brake heads, pull rods, slack adjusters when each jaw member is worn one sixteenth of an inch. Um Hanger equalizer falcon brackets when pins or support are worn one sixteen and they six um thickness clevius and pinholes interlocking surfaces are worn one eighth of an inch. Brake heads and um, when facing radius becomes wa worn, so the extent of the new shoes will no longer f hold the shoe, shoe tightly. Wear um, plates of equalizer, equalizer sports wear worn one eighth of an inch thick. Brake shoes were worn, worn, limiting the wear of this bark indicated on the same um, on the same. All right, slack adjuster lubrication. After the manual slack adjuster, I have been extended to do the brake shoe and the wheel wear. It becomes necessary to collapse the slack adjuster for the purpose of applying new shoe that or turned on new wheel for the exp exposed to the edge of the slack adjuster should be cleaned and greased before collapsing the adjuster. All right, reassembling the set. Um, set two axles, wheel, box assemblies with the two motors assembled on the box on the tracks, preferably over the pit with the suspension end of the motor facing on the other and the assembly in the space of the 60 foot and 11 inch of the wheel center to the wheel center. This um, set a third assembly with the center of the wheels five and 17, five foot seven inches from the center wheel for the joining the assembly with the suspension end motor inward t toward the center tr um, truck of the wheel wheels. With wheels above the longer wheel, spacing 6 and 11 inches will be long. Um, loading pad end of the truck and the shorter the spacing through 5 and 7. 5 foot 7 inches, which will um, will be the swivel plate end of the raised end of the block of the motors with the suspension end nose and slightly above the horizontal so that the truck frame will clear the bottom motor safety lugs when dropped into place over the box. To assembly equalizer spring in the spring seats position blocking the, some of the, uh, so that the truck frame can be lowered between them and the longer the equalizer will be loading the pad end of the truck. Um, shorter at the swivel plate end of the reinstalling the spring of the groups of the snobbers are always toward the center of the wheel on the truck. Replace the correct thickness liners on each of the spring, spring group. With all the foundation brake equipment except for the bottom slack adjuster assembled to the truck frame, lower the frame down between the equalizer assembly. See item 2 above. Then the frame in position between the equalizer pass bars, see item 7, disassembly of the truck through the top of the bolt, holes in the pedestal legs and liners and underneath the equalizer neck. 5. With all the journal boxes blocked in vertical position with the equalizer po pocket upward raised the truck frame equalizer assembly in the guide of the position of the side on um, the pedestal jaw is dropping over the journal box. If the spring were not to previously installed with the spring seat, do, do not just um, do not do so before the frame is completely lowered. This continues lowering until the frame and spring of the po and pockets rest and the coil springs reapply the top of the pedestal iron pack bolts. Six, attach the bottom slack adjusters, attach the pedestal tie bar to location, load the, to lower the traction motor um, nose for, so that b both, b but not only enough for the suspension springs and S but may be slid between the lugs of the motor and the frame. Install vertical pins from the bottom and apply the pin keep of the truck is now assembled over the pit. It will be necessary to raise the truck in order to insert the um, suspension pins. Note with the spring, sp the spring seats in the position with before the for, for, for lowering the motors back off the nuts and the spring holder the bolts. Remove the split washers until the spring holders are fully expanded between the frame lugs. That, then back off the nuts one quarter inch further and insert the cotters. Locate lower the traction motor and nose until the lugs of the rest on the suspension. Reapply the motor air duct boots. Reapply the loose horizontal liners and swivel bolt loading and plant loading and pad pan um, pad pan with the horizontal um, loose liners both swivel and um, swivel bolt and loading pad and pad pan checking the vertical distance between the two it must be, it must be one uh, one inch or plus or minus one thirty two of an inch for the dimension must be matched the underframe of the connection with the same tolerance. And check the lubricating of the packing if the plane bearings in the journal box. Reconnect all any of the journal box attachments, such as speed recorders and etc. All right, your reapplication of the truck and locomotives. Um,